ready to make your voices heard. Wrapping up a campaign blitz through battleground states, new polls reveal Kamala Harris and Tim Walls have momentum. Harris tops Trump by four points among likely voters in Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. We are running this campaign on behalf of all Americans, from red states to blue states. Some of those are cheap fakes. Some of those are, are manufactured enthusiasm that you're trying to watch the Democrat Party and liberal mainstream media create. It's been three weeks since Harris took over the top of the Democratic ticket. Yet she hasn't unveiled much of her policy plans. She's been building a presidential campaign from the ground up. She's had to select a running mate. And she's been running around uh, in, in key places of the country, holding rallies with tens of thousands of Americans who are very excited for her candidacy. So she's been pretty busy, but there's no doubt you're going to see the type of leader she is. Harris promised she'll lay out her economic ideas this week. And at a campaign rally on Saturday, she did pledge to eliminate taxes on tips a promise Donald Trump made two months ago. She's plagiarizing President Trump's policies because she knows they are popular. She's just saying this to get elected. And Trump's camp is not just playing defense with Harris, but they're also dealing with hackers. The campaign announced its internal communications were hacked over the weekend and blamed Iran. Sharing in a statement, the Iranians know that President Trump will stop their reign of terror, just like he did in his first four years in the White House. As this race heats up, former President Trump is sitting down for an interview with Elon Musk tonight, which could help his campaign steal back the spotlight. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox 32 Chicago.